All right, these three uh, Whataburger sauces, take two. I've already filmed this once and uh, I lost the footage. I think it was the second or third time in eight years. We had some corrupt footage. Uh, so we're going to tackle this again with the spicy ketchup from Whataburger. And we have the uh, honey mustard from Whataburger. And we have the jalapeno, no, spicy jalapeno ranch from Whataburger. Cue the intro. What is up everyone? It is the endorsement and it is time for another review. This is where I try something and tell you if you should like it or not. I can be very persuasive. All right, so this is gonna be a quick video because like I said, I filmed this about a week ago and I went to edit it and I'm like, oh no, Houston, we have a problem, but check it out right there. These are the uh, vessels that I'm gonna be using to test the uh, sauces. These are Tyson air fried chicken nugs and 75% uh, less fat, I believe. And uh, I enjoyed them the first time. I am now going back to the well. All right, so I'm going to eat these in no particular order, except for the fact that I'm going to save spicy ketchup for the end. Uh, so let's actually save the too spicy for the end. And we're gonna start with the honey mustard from Whataburger. They call it classic. We'll see about that. Let's put this down on the tray. Not tray, that's a plate. That is a plate. Actually, we're gonna do this. Kinda give you a look. Here's the jalapeno ranch in the middle. That's creamy. And we have the spicy ketchup. Whew, this is the one I was really excited to try. Now, I found these at Walmart and there was about five or six others, maybe eight to 10 sauces from Whataburger in these containers, this size, what are we looking at? 16 ounce containers, I think they were 299, 319, 349, 379. It's been a couple weeks. All right, so uh, here's what they look like on the plate right there. Yeah, those are, so <laughs> this is such a high tech video. But hey, if you're interested in a Whataburger, a lot of people out there, they have a cult following. I was surprised to see a whole display on the shelves, not really a display, a whole shelf of the Whataburger uh, sauces at Walmart. And uh, I probably put an overlay up right there and you can see how much they were being sold for. All right, so we're gonna take one of these nugs, again, air fried nugs, do you wanna see? I'm showing it to you. That's an air fried nug. And uh, we're going into the classic honey mustard first. When I dip, you dip, we dip. Whew. All right, check it out right there. Excited again, let's go. I mean, hmm. All right, so uh, this is really good. Um, honey mustard, honey mustard dressing from Outback is uh, top tier for me. I love it. Uh, when they used to sell the Alice Springs chicken, uh, no, not the Alice Springs chicken, they still sell that. The Alice Springs chicken quesadilla, they don't sell that anymore. I would get their honey mustard and dip that in there, extra honey mustard because it would come with it. Uh, but this is right up there. Top three, nice little flavor of Dijon, and the Dijon mustard is like third or fourth on the ingredient list, uh, so that is good. It has a nice sweetness to it with the honey. It is thick and has a really nice flavor, so uh, I'm on board with that. Let's go into the spicy jalapeno ranch. When I dip, you dip, we dip. The first video was like 26 minutes long, so I probably spared you from watching me uh, act a fool in the kitchen uh, for like 20 minutes of that 26 minutes. You're welcome. All right, so here it is on the nug. That's spicy jalapeno ranch. Let's go. Yeah, that's got some spice. That's got some flavor. Mm -hmm. That's the Whataburger jingle right there. You can use it in your next commercial if you like. Uh, RDR food reviews, let me know. If you see a um, Whataburger commercial in your neck of the woods over there in uh, Texas, 
Oh, let me know if they stole that song from me. All right, so I will say I have had that uh, a year or so ago, uh, maybe less than a year ago, when uh, Lupe from Roni Foodie and I hit up uh, Whataburger. Uh, we did get a side of the spicy jalapeno ranch, and I know we both enjoyed it. I enjoy it again. Nice little flavor of jalapeno, mixing in with that creamy ranch, uh, and they're saying it's spicy. It's spicy. I'm gonna clean the palate before I go in for the spicy ketchup. Uh, do you wanna know what I am uh, cleaning the palate with? Can you tell? Any guesses? Any guesses what we got here with this top? I almost said the color, that might have given it away. Uh, but let me tell you something else. Are you uh, a fan of the uh, finer things in life? Like me, I spared no expense. These were 75 cents, these cups at Walmart. Uh, 50 cents on sale. This is my favorite cup right here. They have them in different colors. I'm gonna go back and get some more. And I'm gonna splurge. Even if they're still 75 cents, I'm going to buy uh, one or two more. <laughs> Money is no object. Milo's 100% natural, new, family made since 1946. I'm uh, 46, I'm drawing this out. Peach sweet tea. Check it out. I do enjoy Milo's sweet tea. This is new. It's got a peach flavor. This is not a uh, separate review, uh, but I'm gonna give you my thoughts on it. Oh yeah. Because Milo's is like um, authentic sweet tea. It's not sweet tea you get from people that don't know what they're doing, don't know how to make sweet tea. This has that uh, sugariness, but it also has that, um, I don't even know what the term is. I almost want to say dryness, uh, but that is wrong. It's totally wrong, but it's what my head is saying, so it's what my lips say to you. It's just something that if you've had southern sweet tea, this is southern sweet tea with a little twist. Nice little flavor of uh, peach. I like it. That's the first cup of that I uh, have had of it. All right, last but not least, spicy ketchup. There's the bottle. For some reason, the uh, label's upside down because you hold it like that and it's upside down and you hold these and it's like, hey, we can read the label. All right, so spicy ketchup. And these nugs, really good uh, and better for you. So I'm a fan of that. All right, here we go. Check it out. Yeah, there we go. Up, close, and personal. Let's go spicy ketchup. This I know is a fan favorite from the folks over at uh, Whataburger. I'll tell you something else. I think you're gonna see on the overlay when I found these a couple weeks ago on the shelf, uh, they all were represented. I went back a week later and the spicy ketchup was the only one that wasn't uh, left on the shelf. It was all gone. All the other flavors were there, some more than others. Uh, all right, here we go. I mean, great tomato flavor, a little bit of sweetness, ketchup, and then you're going to have just a little bit of spice. Two out of 10 on any heat meter. I'll tell you, I said in the first video before I lost all the footage, uh, that this is something, if you enjoy ketchup, even though I don't use ketchup that much in the house, this is something every home should have in their house. Whataburger spicy ketchup. It's that good. All right, so uh, yeah, let's see how I fare with the footage from this video. If you're watching it, I succeeded. If you're not watching this, you never knew it existed. It just, it just didn't get posted. Uh, so here's the winner, spicy ketchup. Let me know in the comments below if you have had that. Uh, here's number two. Did I say this was number two? Spicy Jalapeno Ranch. Uh, I don't know. Number three, uh, classic honey mustard. Three sauces, uh, five or six more. If in the uh, overlays you saw any sauces that you're interested in me trying, let me know. I might get to it. I might not. You never know. But leave some comments below. This is good. That was good. That was good. That was good. It's all good. All good in the hood. Thanks for joining me. And, uh, oh, I forgot. Check me out on Instagram and Twitter. That is social media, getting the word of my channel out to the masses. In closing, now I'm done.